Good morning guys Welcome to the video So before we start uh, the, This one has been sanded yesterday With uh, three, 320 sandpaper And then before you start on your varnishing First thing first We have to clean it So get yourself uh, A good gloves Wear your gloves Because you don't want your oily hands on freshly sanded capping rail because the varnish doesn't stick into the oily oily spots so get yourself a nice clean rags you know nice cotton rags and then alcohol all right so give it give it a wipe with your uh, alcohol all right let's just stop from there and then after your alcohol this is the one right here. We're gonna use the attack rag. Attack rag from uh, Gerson. This is what's inside. It's a cloth, a sticky cloth. What this thing does, it will pick up all the all the lint and maybe some specks of dust that got left behind from your wiping with the uh, rags. You don't have to press it hard. Don't press it hard because otherwise the residue of the of this uh, uh, rag will stick into your just kind of float it here like that float it into the, the the capping rail as you go along your project just keep holding this so you don't repeat the you don't repeat the surface that's got dust there already your uh, tack rag right and then let's go let's get to the brushes that I use first thing first is my favorite right here it's a Corona Europa brush Get, get yourself one of these. It's the best brush that I can highly recommend. And then this one is a throwaway brush. It's called Ansa 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 Elite. You can throw this thing away. It's synthetic. But this thing, why this thing is the best, is good quality bristle, nicely tapered on the end, densely compacted. That's why. The reason for this, it's, it, it, it retain, it absorbs a lot of uh, varnish and it, you're trying to avoid the drips on your deck and to your paint job. The problem with this, it's not densely packed, synthetic and it, it dribbles a lot, it drips. So you have to be very careful if you're using this, okay? So get yourself one of this. If it's not available in your... Uh, Local Chandlery get it on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. It's called Corona Europa brush. You can get all sizes. You can use depending on your uh, size of your project. Right, guys, let's go. Here we are. Just make sure you mix enough varnish for your for your project. You know you don't want to mix less. Maybe slightly more in case. So what you first thing to do first? Just let some varnish absorb in your brush not too much that it's like dribbling all over the place you know you will you will learn your your way you will learn your technique over over the time when you're varnishing you know so first thing just dab it like that you know don't squeeze too much varnish out you know you have to you have to sp spread it evenly first like that before it, you do your final strokes because the thing is, you don't want to put too thin of a varnish because it doesn't give uh, uh, a depth on it, doesn't give a good bling. The thing you have to be careful is the edges, the edges of the the edges right here on the on the on the rail. That's the only place that it actually drips. So once it's evenly evenly coated with your varnish, and then just slightly clean your brush. And then do your final strokes like that. Nice and easy, nice and soft. Especially on the top, because you want to retain a good amount of varnish on the top. Alright? Right here, guys. That's how you do it. 
you know now it looks like that you can see the, the brush marks but it will flow and one thing you have to varnish during the morning when it's still nice and cool because you don't want to varnish when it's uh, already warm the rails are warm and maybe it's uh, slightly windy because uh, the varnish doesn't flow well so you will see all your brush marks if if does happen so make sure you're you're varnishing in a good temperature okay so let's do this again right there just enough varnish you know over time you will you will learn from your uh, uh, you know i'm not saying that this this technique i'm telling you is the only way of varnishing other varnishers have their own way have their own way of uh, doing their uh, strokes their, their varnish but this is this is what i acquired over the 20 years of varnishing this cupping rail you know i blend i blend this technique from the previous crew that i worked with on this boat i've been on this boat for 23 years 23 years man so this is the way i I've, I've done it and it works for me so you know it's not you're not gonna become uh, a good varnisher overnight from watching this video you have to varnish a few times learn from your mistakes learn from someone get a lot of experience and then you can you can do your own whatever works all right that's the most important thing and then before you move along all the way to the end there just before uh, you leave it too far behind and then the varnish will starting to go up just for a good measure give it another long strokes long strokes on the edges here just to make sure that there's no drips just to make sure that there's no drips still still soft and even on the top nicely like that and then that will just flow nicely all right all right guys that's it like that you just have to over time when you keep varnishing you build your own confidence you build your own technique you know whatever works for for you that you're comfortable with that's the way you should do it like that guys because everyone have their own style own way whatever works you know if you if you have any questions guys the actually i'm using uh all bright hair this is a two-part varnish from all all grip if you have any question why i use all bright comment down below because before i used to use just one part ap paints 14 years the last 10 15 years i think the last 10 years i've used uh i've used uh, the all bright this is two-part varnish so anyway I'm gonna keep going and finish all the way over there and then once I'm done I will show you how to clean and take care of your brush okay so you can use this for many more projects in the future so just for now and I'll see you in a few minutes all right guys welcome back to my office aka the poor pick of the boat it's not the biggest poor pick on the yachting world but it's big enough for a person like me, a short guy. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get started. First thing first, I'll show you what we need to to clean the brush. is uh, a bucket of uh, soapy water right here. And then a uh, um, bucket of uh, clean fresh water right here. And then uh, a bucket. You have to have one of these when you're doing some varnishing. This is a spinning bucket for spinning the brush and uh, a brush spinner. Get one of, get yourself one of these uh, brush spinner, all right? So, and then uh, universal cleaner to dissolve all your uh, varnish materials on the brush. So you get rid, you throw all whatever leftover varnish you have, you throw it in your uh, slaps uh, bucket right there. And then uh, what you do is uh, give yourself another container and then this universal cleaner, you can use lacquer thinner, whatever thinner that 
that will dissolve will dissolve the 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 varnish that you'll be using because I'm using a uh, two-part varnish I need some kind of uh, a stronger like a uh, you know like the dissolvent universal dissolvent so what you do is uh, get your brush that you use you dunk it onto the cleaner just dab it there for a few minutes cover it with your hand so it doesn't splash in your eye be careful you know doesn't splash all over your worktop and then once it's done once it's done give it a good give it a good spin on your on your brush spinner you have to spin it so you can get rid of the dirty uh, the dirty bar varnish and the cleaning solvent and the and then get rid of that throw that away you have to do it three times put your first uh, solvent in there you know you have to to be honest with you you have to put some mask on because it's a very strong smell in there you know, the reason why I didn't wear any mask because I cannot speak into the to the camera if I have the mask on you won't, you wouldn't understand you wouldn't understand me what I'm talking about it's hard enough to understand my accent imagine if we have uh, if we have a mask on my mouth all right same thing this is the second time same thing spin it on your brush brush spinner in the bucket spin in the bucket as much as possible and same thing this is the last time guys I may as well show you the whole process just gonna make the video a bit longer <laughs> all right it's gonna we're gonna get high here man so yeah just get a good push you know good dabbing in there yeah I think that's that's good enough man the, the the cleaner looks pretty clear now so one more spin with the spinner before you before you wash this with the soapy water all right so what you do after the three times on the on the the solvent cleaner and then you can you can use your soapy bucket get your soapy bucket right there I used uh, this washing detergent here this washing liquid but you can use any boat soap any any washing powder washing detergent whatever so just give it a good same thing just dab it in there just give it a good good wash you know like give it a good uh, let it bubble up just work it into the work it into the bristle you know work it into the bristle guys soapy water get it going like that you know just give it like a good wash you see and then once you're done once you're done with the soapy water you can spin it on the on the bar, brush spinner again to get the the soapy residue on it get it into the spinner again give it a good spin get rid of the soapy water and then the last bit is you wash it into your uh, fresh water right here just water just give it a good rinse give it a good rinse same thing dab it give it a good rinse and then that's it one last bit is same thing give it a good spin in your bucket in your brush spinning bucket get rid of most of the water and then that's it this is what it look like when it's all washed so it might look like oh the brush lost its shape but once you air dry it you're gonna air dry it 
and then it goes back to its shape. All right, guys. So anyway, you don't have to do this procedure every time. If you if you're doing some more burnishing, like a bigger capping rail for the next day, you don't have to wash it with soap every time you finish uh, 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 finish the day of burnishing. What you do is I have I'll show you. I have another brush here which is I kept because we've been doing some burnishing for the last week. So this is what you do if you're doing a burnishing for the next day. You just leave it onto the mixing cup with just good amount of uh, the solvent, uh, uh, the solvent uh, cleaner, and then just leave it, and then use your old gloves to cover it. And then tomorrow, it's, it's just spin it on your brush spinner, and then it's ready to use. So this one there that I wash with soap, long storage time. Maybe you're going for the season, and then you you're not gonna be burnishing for a while. So this is what you do. But if you're doing just next day burnishing do it like this keep it there and that's it anyway guys that's it for now and if you if you think that this video have helped you in any way give it a thumbs up maybe share it to someone that you know that wanted to learn or working on the boat you know it will help this channel grow a little bit and then uh, you know and helps a lot of uh, new crew on the boat so anyway thanks for watching guys and then uh I will see you in my next video. And don't forget, keep practicing on your burnishing skill. You know, no one's perfect on the first uh, season on your boat. Just keep burnishing. And then one, you'll get good. Practice, practice, practice. So bye for now. And see you next on my next video.